In this video, I am going to talk about Stop User Enumeration Plugin. It has 40,000 active installations as of now. Hi, my name is Pankaj and I am WordPress developer from Creative Pro. Let's first understand what user enumeration means. Let's take this website for example. If I open this here, as a normal user or hacker or you can call me anything, I don't know what is username or password. Let's suppose. So if I add hello and hello this site will tell me that there is no username named hello so half of the information is given here so i can try admin and some random password it will say admin is not available i can try pankaj and some random password it will tell me that pankaj is correct but password is wrong so half of the equation is ready i have to figure out the second half so by using some combinations and all i can find password or hackers sometimes go brute force way they try a lot of random passwords and wordpress allows unlimited access i can keep trying this all day and it will not stop me there are no uh, fixed login attempts wordpress gives me unlimited chances so how do we prevent this first of all you should go to your user page and add a different nickname here maybe i'll go with creative pro so public display is different and username is different let's save this one let's now understand how hackers think uh, most hackers use kali linux as their operating system it is a penetration testing platform. This WP scan software is their go to software. It is built for ethical hackers, but a lot of black hat hackers use this software. So there are a lot of ways for them. I have uh, compiled this document. Anyone can find any site's user data easily using these uh, strings. So let's start with the first one. This is WordPress REST API. So let's go with this one. If I use this string on any website, it gives me a lot of data like who, what is the ID of the user, name, URL, all these. These can be tested on any website, but I am using localhost because of legal issues. Let's go with the second one. Another way of finding user data is sitemaps. Uh, WordPress by default has a sitemap and uh, if we use this sitemap, it gives us a lot of details about the user. What is the username? Another thing is uh, there is directory browsing. Directory browsing means anyone can publicly see what is in the folders of the site. For example, I opened this page and I also searched Google for this and you will see 20 million pages with such strings. So I can easily start any page and see what is included in their site. This is very risky way and this should be protected. Then comes this author string. Anyone can click here, find who is the author and what is the link here. To prevent all these easy access to the data, someone came up with this stop user enumeration plugin. And let's see how we can use this to prevent all this. So I am already on the plugin installation page. This is the plugin and I will go install it. Once installed, I will activate it and it will redirect me to the settings page. So this is all normal information. I can just hide this. This is the real meat and potato. So let's see. So this says that I have stopped REST API user calls. Let's see if this is stopped or not. I will go with refresh. It is still working. So when I am logged in as an admin, it will keep working. But let's see how it works for a logged out user. I am opening incognito mode and you can see that REST API for users is not working for logged out users. This is a very good start. Then let's come to the second one. It's stopping oembed calls, revealing user IDs. Oembed is basically a iframe thing. So Facebook and other platforms use this. Right now I am on local host, so it's not very useful. Then let's go with the next one. Disable WP Core Author Sitemaps. So as I mentioned here earlier that WP Sitemaps gives us access to the user's page. Let's refresh this. So the user's sitemap is gone. Next it says that log attempts to auth log. What this means is if someone is using WP Scan to scan our website and check who is the user, what's the password and all these that it will block that user and log the IP of the user. And if you have a VPS server, you can directly use fail to ban. Installation instructions are here. 
you can easily install it on your vps server so if you have fail to ban then this plugin connects with fail to ban and uh, it will supply the ip address so that fail to ban can block the ip and last one is remove numbers of comments from authors this is not very useful it's covering all the basics but it is not enough that's why i compiled my own codes and you won't need this plugin so first of all i am going to deactivate this plugin so we had four basic problems that wp rest api is outputting all the data wordpress sitemap is outputting all the data directory browsing is enabled so we have to disable it and authors pages are revealing a lot of data so let's go with this this is the code that i wrote and by using this function we can stop all the rest api endpoints for logged out users this function will go in functions.php file so I have already opened function.php file. I don't recommend that you use these codes directly. Take a backup of your website before using these codes. And if you are not a developer, then hire someone to do this for you. Okay. So let's go with this code. I am copying this code and using it in my functions.php file. I'll save this file. And this is covering the basic first thing that WP REST API is giving us data. So by using this code, it will stop outputting data. I am refreshing it here again as I am logged in as an admin it will show me data but when I open incognito mode and test this one it will not work very good start then next thing we should do is uh, we should remove users from sitemaps just copy this code and paste it in functions.php save the file and you will see that sitemap now you will see that user sitemap has gone and if i comment this code and save you will see that user sitemap is back so we need to hide users from the sitemap so i am removing this and saving this next we need to disable directory browsing in wordpress this code will go in stxs file let's copy the code and add it at the start of the file i am saving this file by using this now no one can see our folders they are not public now let's come to the next step wordpress is outputting username publicly so let's copy this code and use it in functions.php file and it has second part to add this in stxs file so i am copying this and adding it in stxs also and of course i need to change my name of the site so let's copy this one and now if i use this link question mark author equals to one it will redirect me to the home page it won't open anything and if i remove this code you will see that this is how you comment in stxs file and let me comment the code of php and if i now do this it will redirect to Pankaj page. So definitely we need to secure this page and I am going to remove the comments. So this is covered. Now let's confuse hackers by stopping login error messages. How do we do this? We will just copy this code and add it in functions.php file. You could basically change this message to anything. I am just writing this. So let's copy this page and come here. Now, if someone tries to log in using wrong username or wrong password, for example, anything, then it will only output I know something is wrong. It won't say that username is wrong or password is wrong. Even if I am using Pankaj, it will say I know something is wrong. Very helpful in confusing the hackers. They don't know if username is wrong or password is wrong. Very good. Another thing we can do is we can hide this login page. So basically I could make this login page something like this. So only I know where to log in. No one else can do this. This can be done using this plugin. Very useful. Let's come to the next step now. Another thing that you can do is add recaptcha on the login page. This is a plugin that you can use. 
very useful here so that uh, every time they will have to fill recaptcha and you know it's very frustrating for the hackers and this is a bonus all these things can be done by a single plugin i am not going to name the plugin Uh, you have to contact me on my website to find the name so you won't have to do all these manually all the coding is already done all you have to do is install a plugin and it's done so to find the name of this plugin just message me here okay now that the tutorial is over i have a question for you do you want to secure a wordpress website as you have seen in the video it is very easy to hack a wordpress website if basic security checks are not in place i have written a 24 step security checklist it will show you how to audit your website and how to fix your website and you don't want to miss the number 9 in the list it is very very useful so thank you and see you in my next video